So I just finished editing my what I eat in a day or three days video. Um, and I wanted to add it. I wanted to preface it with some like stuff. So first of all, I woke up really early to edit. So I haven't gotten ready for the day yet. So excuse my like pajama look. But I just wanted to jump on here and say before you watch this, just keep in mind a few things. Like this is my personal style of eating. That does not mean anyone else has to eat exactly like me. I follow a very intuitive style of eating and that is what works for me. It's not exactly what I coach my clients to do or some of, I, I mean, everyone's different. Every single client is so different. So I don't want you to like feel like this is a way that you have to eat or anything. I, you know, you all ask for it, so I did it. Um, but a few things to keep in mind with me is I'm like 5'5", five five, I'm like mildly active. Um, you know, we usually go to the gym two to three times a week, but I'm pretty sedentary in my day. Um, and I am still breastfeeding a little bit. So all of those things affect my energy needs and make them different than what your energy needs would be. Um, so just keep that in mind as you're watching this. Um, and it, it's, <laughs> it's a little bit all over the place with some like pictures and some videos because uh, sometimes I just didn't really have like the time or it wasn't quiet enough to actually like talk while I was filming. We eat a lot of dinners over at my father-in-law's house. So um, yeah, enjoy, I guess. I don't know why. I, I feel so weird sharing it because to me, I'm like, why would people want to see how I eat? But you, you asked for it. And so here you go. Good morning. So I had an appointment this morning, so I'm actually doing breakfast in the car. But while I was getting ready, I did start my day with some water. I'm not sure where to look at on my phone to like look like I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> okay, I started my day with some water while I was getting ready. I always pretty much have water in the morning. Um, I just get really thirsty overnight. And so when I, by the time I wake up, I'm ready for some water. Um, but it's a good idea to get into that habit just because when like overnight is the longest your body goes without water and water is one of those nutrients that your body doesn't really hold on to like it does other nutrients and so it's really important to rehydrate and like not only have enough water in the day but space it out throughout the day so long story short i had some water and then for breakfast i'm having a half of a peanut butter and banana sandwich um just some like whole wheat bread to get my nice whole grain carbs some peanut butter for the healthy fats and protein and banana to get my fruit in. Got myself a nice London fog latte to have during my appointment. Okay, I'm doing my best not to show my dirty office, but for a snack, I have some of these cauliflower wings um, that I posted the recipe of, and then when I reheated them, they definitely got kind of soggy, so not so much wings anymore, but I'm just added with some leftover rice that I had to make it more of like a complete and filling snack. So my snack has me feeling pretty full. Honestly, I might not even do a full lunch today. I might just go in with another snack later, but I was craving a little bit of a pick me up. I'm doing some like typing type of work right now, pre-writing some content. So I just wanted my favorite thing in the world, which, which is a warm beverage. I just made some regular black coffee um, and I'm gonna have a cute little gingerbread cookie along with that. An RX bar, maple sea salt, my favorite flavor. Skipping lunch apparently was a bad idea because people can't drive. Not what I was going to say. But because now I'm really hungry and we're about to make dinner as soon as we get home. Um, but I just got, I had to stop and get Bobby some like new teethers and stuff. And while I was there, I just picked up some beef jerky to snack on. Um, kind of a little high protein snack to hold me over until dinner. And I haven't been tracking my water intake today or like really mentioning it because I just... I don't know guys, I like always have some form of water bottle or water cup with me wherever I'm at in the house or, sorry, or like if we go out I always have some kind of water bottle so I just sip on water all day. Chris is busy making dinner but I'm pretty hungry so I'm having a little pre-dinner snack for having enchiladas and it's basically just an enchilada mix with some beans and tortilla, I'll probably eat half, then give Chris half because he actually made it for himself and I just stole it. Enchiladas cooking through my dirty oven door. We did two pounds of ground beef, like a red pepper, a green pepper, an onion, uh, mix it with some enchilada sauce, put in the tortillas, top with enchilada sauce and cheese. Then we're having some rice and refried beans as a side. Can you tell I'm hungry? Cause I'm literally watching 
these cook. Cilantro lime rice. It's gonna be good. So this morning for breakfast. Oh, what? Do you want some of this? Do you want some more? Yeah. Okay, I'll get you some. One second. We're having some protein pancakes with, I have cashew butter on my finger. With some cashew butter and a little drizzle of syrup. Um, whenever you make the recipe, it makes like a ton of pancakes. We'll probably, between me and Bobby, I'm thinking we'll just eat three. If I'm hungry enough, I'll eat that fourth one. But, uh, oh yeah, and some coffee and some water of course always water just excuse my messy table i'm trying to keep this really zoomed in <laughs> not showing you this and one thing i forgot to mention is the brand of pancake we use is the crusties brand which i like because look at how fluffy these pancakes get i find with the kodiak cakes they're just really flat and don't taste as good and these guys still have whole wheat they still have lots of protein so they're still good and healthy they're just uh are a lot tastier. I ended up eating two and a half pancakes and Bobby ate like a fourth of a pancake. Don't worry, she's getting some applesauce now though. But I'll probably just put like wrap up these two, put them in a container or something and stick them in the freezer so that I can just pop them in the toaster for a quick breakfast or breakfast edition on another day. For lunch, I am having one of my favorite lunches, which is one of the pre-bag salads, the Taylor Farms buffalo salad, I think, with a Morningstar chicken patty, just microwaved, tossed up the salad, super easy. Trying to get in a little bit more veg today because I felt like my veggies was a little low yesterday, so having a nice salad for lunch. Okay, so I'm going to try not to wake Bobby up because she's sleeping on the couch, um, just kind of how my day is going. Uh, yeah, right before lunch, I kind of got really angry because the dogs chewed up another one of Bobby's pacifiers. She loves the Wubbinubs. They are the cheapest pacifiers in the world, and I think our dogs have now chewed up five of them. We have two extras at the house right now, literally for that reason, and I can't even leave it anywhere in the kitchen. It's like they'll find it, and because Bobby loves them so much, like we go in there in the morning for breakfast, she usually has it with her, and I'll set it on the table, and I try to bring it back in. Today, I forgot. I thought that this would be like an appropriate time to talk about emotional eating. So I've just been off today. Like our house is super messy. Um, I'll just give you a little sneak peek of just, okay. You can tell it's, you know, things are everywhere. The kitchen's way worse. And I just feel, feel really like behind, like I'm never going to catch up and never going to get this place clean. And I, I hate that. It makes me feel really stressed. So that happened. And then the dogs just they had to chew up another wub and up. And it really was really defeating feeling. And um, I've not been very productive today, just an off mood. Anyways, I had my lunch. I'm sitting here just feeling blah, like feeling crap. And I decided I just want something comforting. I want something to, I want to escape a little bit from my emotion, come back and deal with it in a minute. So I just got some coffee. Like for me, warm drinks is a huge, um, like that's a huge comfort for me. So I heated up some coffee from this morning and then I'm eating it with a stroop waffle. I love stroop waffles. Little sweet something treat that I like. I'm gonna just watch like one more YouTube video. I'm not gonna lie, I've already watched two. Like that's kind of what I've been doing while I was eating lunch and stuff. Um, but just yeah, let myself like escape from it for a minute and then me and Bobby I have an appointment at 1.30 so we're gonna get up, get out of the house and I'm gonna try to just focus on nourishing myself throughout the day, having some more water. I haven't had enough water today um, and you know, just trying to eat and nourish my body and give myself as much as possible. And then when Chris gets home from work, I'll probably just try, maybe he can just watch Bobby and I can just clean the house some, get a little bit ahead on that aspect. But this, sometimes it's okay to eat emotionally. Sometimes it's okay to just have like a little bit of comfort through food. That's not a, like a bad or terrible thing. And it's what I'm doing right now. So I wanted to share that with you on today's day of eating. I was in massive need of a snack after this call I just had, so I'm having this teeny tiny apple <laughs> with two pieces of cheese. You know those apples that you get in the bag and they're just like all really small, but that's what I'm having for a snack. So I was still feeling a little bit hungry after my apple and cheese snack. So I'm going in with one of my favorites, which is popcorn. Um, 
I think just the perfect snack. Oops, I dropped one. Cause it's pretty filling, but it's not the sort of filling that it like leaves you full very long. And since it's like 4.30 now, I think. Um, I know I'm gonna eat dinner in like an hour and a half. I don't wanna eat too much, but I definitely am feeling hungry. I ate my lunch earlier than normal today. And yeah, it's going on with some popcorn. Tonight for dinner, I'm having fish sticks, tartar sauce, one of my favorite foods, french fries, and some steamed veggies. This morning for breakfast, me and Bob are sharing some yogurt, bananas, and chia seeds. I just had some plain Greek yogurt in the fridge that I mixed with some frozen blueberries. And the thing that I like about frozen berries is like they get a lot of liquid that comes mm -hmm. off when they melt. Okay, I'll get you some bug. Um, they have a lot of liquid that comes off when they melt, so it makes the yogurt not as thick. Because even though I like Greek yogurt for its like protein content and everything, I don't love how thick it is. Um... And so I like that the frozen blueberries kind of thin it out with their juices. And then we have the banana to make it a little bit sweeter and the chia seeds because those are a great source of omega-3s. Of course, my coffee and my water. So I'm about to sit down and get some work done. I got my nice warm coffee. It's like a giant coffee mug too. And a snack of some kettle corn. And I don't know what's been going on lately, like the last three days, the three days I decided to film for my what I eat, but I've just been wanting sweets a lot more than usual. Usually I'm more of like the salty savory kind of person, but these last few days I've been wanting sweets, so I went with a kettle corn for my snack. Um, I actually thought about cookies, but then I realized that I needed a little bit more of a snack, something a little bit more filling than a cookie, that's why I went with the popcorn. I still get that nice sweet flavor, and got a La Crox here, the Peplamousse flavor, which I learned recently is French for grapefruit. Um, so yeah, gonna get some work done. Having some Chick-fil-A, got the grilled chicken sandwich, and I gotta be honest with you, this is one of my worst trips to Chick-fil-A. For one, they didn't give me the barbecue, like the honey barbecue sauce that usually comes with the grilled chicken sandwich. They gave me regular barbecue, which is not what I wanted. For two, I asked for an unsweet tea and lemonade mix. They gave me sweet tea and lemonade, which, like, it's fine, but it's just not really what I wanted. I'm gonna try and mix it with some water to see if I like it a little bit more. I don't know, I might just skip out on this. Because it's just, it's kind of sweet for me to drink alongside my meal. But having some french fries, and I do love french fries, so that'll make me happier. And maybe I'll steal some of Chris's Chick-fil-A sauce over there to put on my sandwich. Because I wanted the honey barbecue, man. It's so good. But anyways, this is lunch. So I ended up not finishing my fries, but I did eat some of Bobby's mac and cheese. So we just got back from the gym. We had a little bit of a later workout today. I say that like we work out most days. <laughs> we went to the gym today and we went a little later. So coming back is definitely a great leftover night. And I'm starting that with a salad that's left over from what I had for lunch yesterday. Dinner, beans and rice with some enchiladas. Oh my gosh, it's snowing outside. Oh, that's kind of cool. At least this cold isn't for nothing. Well, there it was, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, like, let me know if you'd want to see it again. Um, that was honestly, I, I was a pretty standard, like, few days of eating for me. We do a lot of, like, running around on the days Chris is off. So we usually do get fast food for lunch. Thank you, Bobby. I'm starting my day today with some um, pouch. <laughs> In case you want to know what I'm eating today. Uh, and then, yeah, we do, like... We'll usually cook a dinner and then have a quick dinner and have a leftover and all that stuff. I feel like it was a pretty good three days of eating, so hope you enjoyed it.